Well, here we have a, a couple of uh, logarithmic equations to solve. So let's get started. So 1 log, and so that's the common log because there's no base showing, so the understood base is 10, common log, equals uh, log and 4 minus x. Well, any time you have, as you well know, the log of whatever equals the log of whatever, then you can just equate these two, the two values. Let me go over that rule. If the log of m equals the log of n, then the only way this is possible is if m equals n. So there's the rule. Anyhow, so now we can equate 3x minus 1 to 4 minus x. Now let's get all the x's on the left, everything else on the right. So I'll add x to both sides and I get 4x and I'll add 1 to both sides and 1 plus 4 is 5. And now we'll divide by 4, both sides, divide both sides by 4, and we get x equals 5 over 4. And we've taken care of the first one. Let's do the second one now. So number 2, ln of 8 minus x squared equals ln of 2 minus x. And again, we have the log of m equals the log of n, so m must equal n, so we can equate these two results. And 2 minus x, and now let's solve for x, so let's see. I'll get 0 on one side, everything else on the other. So we'll add x squared to both sides. I get x squared minus uh, x, and we'll subtract 8 from both sides, and 2 minus 8 is minus 6. So I'm going to put that 0 over on this side and factor this, and so we get an x and an x, and factors of 6 that have a difference of 1 or 2 and 3, and the negative goes with the 3 and the positive goes with the 2. So x equals, the solutions to this are negative 2 and 3. But we have to run these, uh, uh, check these solutions against the original equation and see if, if, one, if we need to throw one out. And if we replace x with 3, notice we'd be taking the log of a negative number here. So we have to throw the 3 out. On the other hand, if we replace x with negative 2, a negative times a negative is positive. If we replace x with 2, we'll have, again, a positive. So that works. Mm-hmm x equals negative 2. Now, there's one more I want to do, and it's an inequality, and we'll call it number 3, and it goes like this, x times the natural log of x minus x is greater than 0. Well, Let's at least add x to both sides, so we get x ln of x is greater than x. Now we could divide both sides by x, and these divide out, and these become 1, so we get ln of x equals 1. And now, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll let uh, this be the exponent. I'll show you what I mean. If e to the uh, 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 if I've got to say it this way, if m equals n, then e to the m 
equals e to the n. So now since these are equal, then e to the ln of x equals e to the first, which is e. But these, this is the composite of inverse functions, so uh, what we get back is x. In other words, f of f inverse of x, the composite of inverse functions, always gives you back what you start with, x. See? Okay, so x equals e, and we're done. That's our solution.